Hello guys, welcome back to the Raycon TV studio. I'm Tom and today we're going to be taking a little look at the MCR54 from Wizicom, particularly its main features and also the setup process to get yourself up and rolling. Now, if you've been an avid watcher of the channel for the last few months or year or so, you'll have seen the MCR54 feature a couple of times because it really is an absolutely standout product. But if you haven't seen those, we should probably talk about actually what the MCR54 offers us. So it is the industry's only four channel true diversity receiver. We've got eight receiver boards inside, each paired up by two to give us that true diversity format across four different channels. That's packaged up in a robust yet really lightweight package so it can be used either standalone or slot in format. And you can see just how low profile this unit really is. We've also got up to 790 megahertz of tunable bandwidth in the 470 to 1260 megahertz range. And being a WYSICOM, we've got some really fantastic features packed in there such as multiband front end filtering, phenomenal range as well. If you have seen any of our previous videos with our walk tests on this, you'll see just how impressed we have been. If you haven't seen them, absolutely go and give them a watch. You will be knocked out by the performance of this product. We also have the ability to operate in both the wide band and narrow band. And we do have tunable algorithms built into the unit to optimize our sound for the location we're in. But we'll get to that in a little bit when we do run through the menus. So the MCR54 offers us both analog and digital outputs, and we can control the unit either via the setup buttons on the front or via Bluetooth or USB cable. That's done via what's called WYSICOM Manager. It's a laptop software that is sold separately. So the buttons on the front, really nice and easy to use, and we have a clear OLED screen showing all four channels as well. Now I've read the manual of the MCR54, so you guys don't have to. So let's get this all powered up and take a look at the setup process. So we have our high rose power lead, goes in at the back here of our BPA54 backplate. We turn the unit over and get ourselves powered up. So we have four physical buttons on the front here. Power button doubles as exit, menu doubles as select, and then we have scan and sync, which are also our navigation buttons. We have a five pin mini XLR here under this rubber cover for your digital and analog outputs, as well as a headphone output on the front. Now we have a great level of info being shown to us on this nice clear OLED screen, such as transmitter battery level, current frequency, channel, group, and squelch settings. If we use the scan and sync buttons here as well, we have individual receiver pages that we can interrogate and view these settings for. Now you've no doubt noticed the surrounding LEDs that give us a color coded channel status at a glance. For example, green shows us being connected and happy, blinking red shows frequency is out of filter and red is not connected. So what I'm gonna do now is show you how to scan and sync your WYSICOM transmitters to your MCR54. There's a couple of ways to do this. So the first way I'm gonna show you, press and hold scan here, and it takes us into our group scan. We're on channel 38 here, the frequencies we're licensed for. So I'm going to scan channel 38. I'm going to press select on there, confirm, and run the scan. So once the scan has completed, we'll get this graph to show us the levels of noise available on the frequencies we have just scanned. You can use these scan and sync buttons to scroll through. You can see there's a little peak here at 606.2 and that's because that is the frequency I'm currently using to record this video for you guys on. So if we scroll back through and I press select, we then have an option to set to all and that will apply the frequencies with the least noise and the best intermod plan to all four receivers. So we'll go ahead and do that now and press select, done and there we are. The best frequencies have been applied to all four receiver boards for us. Now there is another way to scan as well. So if I press menu and I go into setup and I scroll down to scan, scan now, you can scan by particular frequency. There are, you can, well, you can set up your own sort of custom groups, but if you want to scan by a particular frequency, for example, we have a licensed frequency here of 606.5. If I scroll up to that, 606, press let's jump through. 0.5 to 613.5. Press and hold select, indicate switch of all transmitters again, and it will run the scan. And then we'll get here another graph to show us the noise levels on the different frequencies. 
Now, when I press select here, we then don't have the option to apply to all, and that's because when you scan the group, it looks for channels and frequencies with the best intermod plan, where we're scanning our own sort of custom frequency here, there isn't a set intermod plan, therefore we can just set them individually on each receiver if we want to. So now I'm going to show you actually how to sync your WYSICOM transmitters with your MCR54. So I'm going to press and hold sync here on the main screen. Select the receiver we want to sync. So let's go with receiver, let's choose, yeah, let's choose receiver one. Receiver one, press select and it's waiting for transmitter. Now there is an infrared port on the bottom. I'm going to bring in my MTP40S and turn it on. There's also an infrared port on the bottom of my MTP40S. I'm going to hold those two up to each other. You can see we have success connected to MTP40S with the current compander setting. We can put that down. Press select to confirm if you want to roll another one or just exit out. And there we go. That is how to sync your transmitter. Now, if you wanted to quickly sync your other transmitters, as you'll likely have more than one, there's a couple of ways to do it. You can navigate through your different receiver pages. Say you wanted to do receiver two, press and hold sync, and there we go, that will quickly sync receiver two and you just bring in your transmitter. That is scanning and syncing, nice and easy, on the MCR54. So the wider menus then, let's take a look, starting with preset. So here we have the option to view the current preset and save or load stored presets. You could have up to 16 of those. And you do that in here, so save, load, or restore to factory settings if you want to then. If we go back to setup then for a deeper look in there, and we'll start at the top and work our way through. Let's start with active receivers. This allows us to disable or enable any of the receiver channels if they're not needed, therefore saving power. For example, if we're rigged up to a battery, we don't want to be using power that we don't need to be using. Now, a real benefit of the MCR54 is that each receiver can have its settings changed completely independently from the others. So here you can change the receiver's name, frequency, and also between wideband and narrowband. And then we get onto some great features, the Companda and Squelch options. So with Companda options here, if I select this, we have a fair few. So we have ENR WYSI here, which is a classic WYSICOM compander designed for maximum noise reduction. It's ideal for use in louder environments. It's backwards compatible with all WYSI kit and great for voice with low noise, but can sound brittle with high, high frequency audio content such as clanging cutlery or the famous key test. ENC WYSI is an updated WYSICOM compander with lowered preemphasis designed for maximum audio fidelity. Ideal for use for singers or environments with lots of high frequency energy. It's great with high high frequency content or transient dynamic sources and it passes the key test, but the lower preemphasis can lead to more noise pumping when using near range limits with low receiver signal levels. ENS WYSI is designed for voice and music applications and instances of high frequencies such as singing and metallic noises. And then we have ENR and ENC 1.2, and these are to be used with certain types of camera, which are listed in the user guide, we'll link that down below for you, which accepts a signal with reduced dynamics. So this type of expansion doesn't add artifacts to the signal and allows you to have a less noisy signal. And to use these expanders, it's necessary to set ENR on the transmitter and ENR 1.2 on the receiver or ENC on the transmitter and ENC on the receiver. SEN is Sennheiser mode for HI Dime Plus, the sort of 3000 or 5000 series. Pros, it sounds great with Sennheiser transmitters and also works well with Electrosonics in mode three, but a con is you have no battery telemetry with Electro products when in mode three. Send D0 is a special Sennheiser High Dome Plus mode with no preemphasis and it works with special versions of Sennheiser 5000 kit with zero preemphasis. SR is Sure Audio Reference compounding for the UHF R series. Evo is Sennheiser HDX. And then Flat is a test mode with no compounding and no de emphasis. Note as well that if your transmitter is fitted with the ultrasonic filter option, which is coded UN, you'll find that either ENR or ENC will sound clean with the key test as the ultrasonic sound from jangling keys, clanging pans, cutlery, etc. will have the energy above 17 kHz removed prior to the compander, which will reduce the undesirable effects. 
The benefits of ENC on highly transient dynamic sources such as percussive music will remain though, so we'd still recommend ENC for this kind of audio source. Moving on then to the squelch settings. You can set here to normal, long range and user. User can be adjusted in the WYSICOM manager software. The squelch on the MCR54 uses channel quality and noise to determine when to open squelch and allow audio to pass meaning if the noise floor changes in your location, your squelch will change with it. Audio out allows dedicated adjustment of your outputs per channel, allowing adjustment to line level, AES3 level, signal phase, calibration tone, etc. If we back out then of the individual receiver settings and scroll down to scan, we have scan now as we saw before, scan squelch, and then scan BTN for your frequency or channels. And then we can also view your last scan. So if you wanted to go in there, you can view the last scan, select a particular frequency, and then you can set it on a receiver there as well. If you did want to dip back into that scan and apply a new frequency to one of your receivers. Headphone allows us to select which channel we want to listen to via the AUX output on the front here and also adjust its volume. So display is what it says on the tin and allows configuration of the MTR54's display settings such as brightness and things like that. And then advanced audio allows a finer control of the MCR54's outputs depending on the backplate slash slot in we have. We have a BPA54 currently attached for example, so it's possible to enable AES outputs on the AUX top feed or on the main base outputs. So you would go in there and you can select as necessary. Lastly, there's settings for the activation code and then panel lock. And going out, info gives us details and information such as the current backplate fitted, hardware and firmware details, and also features such as reviewing any alarms that have occurred. You can go in there and interrogate the system. And there we are, we're all set up, ready to go. That is the features and setup process for the MCR54 receiver from WYSICOM. Guys, thank you very much for watching. We hope you've enjoyed the video, but also found it helpful if you have just got an MCR54 and need to get it set up. If you have, please do consider hitting that subscribe button. It's the big red one down below. Maybe even the bell icon so you don't miss out on any of our future uploads. We will be doing a whole range of videos across different products with these kind of setup processes. If you'd like to show your support for both the channel and the video, please as well do hit that like button and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. I'm Tom and this is Raycom TV.